Yes, he does. Before I dive deep into the title of this video, I wanna give a quick shout out to Myron Golden, who is the person from whom I got the idea for this video from. So be sure to go check out his channel after watching this video. But hey, y'all see the title of today's video. Does God want you to be rich? And why are so many of God's people broke? Before I round back to the first question, I wanna answer the second question. Why are so many of God's people broke? And the reason why so many of God's people are lacking money, lacking resources, is because they believe that God does not want them to be rich. There's a common belief among a lot of Christians today that being poor and being impoverished is actually a sign of righteousness. People seem to believe that being poor makes you more religious and that God wants you to be broke. They believe that wealth is reserved for the evil and wicked people and that poverty is somehow a sign of righteousness. So where did this idea even come from? You have to trace back a couple hundred years to the early Roman Catholic Church. And during these times, people weren't actually allowed to read the Bible for themselves. The Bible was written in a different language that only the priests were able to read. So the common people had to rely on the words of the priests as final truth. So since the priests were the gatekeepers to this knowledge, they would hide certain things and twist certain things to be in their best interest. The Catholic Church was looking for ways to raise more money and realized that the more money they could get out of the pockets of the people of the church, the more it could come to their pockets. So the priests began to teach the idea that if you truly love God, you shouldn't have a bunch of money for yourself, but instead you should give it all to the church. Many of the beliefs that we have today actually come from age old Catholic tradition and history. And so that's where this idea that if you love God, you have to be broke comes from. However, there is nowhere in the Bible where God commands us to be poor. In fact, there are numerous references where God talks about money in relation to his people and how they should use money. Just looking at some of my notes here. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. The blessing of the Lord makes rich and has no sorrow. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The plans of the diligent lead to profit. In Deuteronomy 8.18, remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to create wealth. So it's pretty evident to see that God actually does not want us to be broke, but he wants us to have money. But why would God even care about us having money in the first place? Why does that benefit him? It's important to understand that in the kingdom of God, we are ambassadors for Christ. We are here on this earth to represent God and make his name known. God needs us to be successful in order to bring glory and honor to his name. And so one tool that we can use to bring glory and honor to his name is money. If everyone sees that we claim to love God and follow after him, but yet we're poor, broke, unable to support ourselves, how does that look to God? How does that reflect on God? What will people think of the God that we're supposed to be representing? But on the contrary, if God's people are in abundance, God's people have wealth, God's people are being prosperous, then that will be a good reflection on God. This is why God wants us to have money. Not saying that God says everybody needs to be a multimillionaire or billionaire, but it is in God's best interest for you to live in abundance. Another reason why God cares about money is so that we can advance his kingdom. If we as his people have no money to give to charities, to give to the poor, to build new establishments, to make the world a better place, if we don't have money to support those things, then the world's gonna remain the way that it is. We won't be able to be effective. But if we have money to give to the poor, if we have money to build schools, hospitals, churches, we have money to invest in businesses that are gonna make our society and the world a better place, then that's what God wants. That's what advances God's purposes. That's what advances God's kingdom here on earth. If God can trust us with money and let money flow through us to the right ventures, then we'll be able to make the world a better place for him and he can do his work through us. Just to clarify, all of this does not mean that you should chase money as your primary focus. We know the classic scripture that says the love of money is the root of all evil. And the Bible tells us that you can only serve God or money. You have to choose one. So don't make money your number one priority in this life. But at the same time, we cannot act like money does not matter. We can't act like it's not important. If we adopt the mentality that God wants us to have money 
and then he could use that money to make the world a better place for him, then that's when the money will come. Hey, that's all I got for y'all today. Be sure to subscribe for more Kingdom content just like this. Be sure to leave a like if this video provided value to you, if helped open up your mind. Comment what topics I should talk about next. Be sure to turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video from me. Hey, I'll see you on the next one.